I paid about $10 for The Walking Dead Michonne, and I'm not entirely disappointed, although I probably should have waited for a better sale. I'm a huge fan of Telltale generally, and I think Season 1 of The Walking Dead is one of the best games of the last decade. This is definitely one of Telltale Games' weaker offerings, significantly weaker than either Season 1 or Season 2 of The Walking Dead, although also much better than the underwhelming 400 Days DLC. I find it unlikely that I will replay any part of this one, unlike Season 1 of The Walking Dead, which I've replayed several times. For $10, at most 4 hours of gameplay, with each episode being almost exactly 1 hour, is on the high end of what I usually like to pay for a video game, especially considering one of the reasons this miniseries didn't do it for me is because the characters are so weak. The main villain, Norma is almost okay, but I don't see her as the main villain, are so unambiguously and obnoxiously evil that there's really no moral dilemma in your dealing with them. There was no moment of reflection in this season. So, on the whole, this is a pretty weak offering from Telltale Games. That being said, even a mediocre offering from Telltale is still a bit better than a lot of other games out there. As mediocre as these episodes were, they were still much more compelling than the actively bad writing of, for example, the Mad Max game. And there's also something to be said for not just presenting a sandbox without characters or an attempt at representation. So Telltale here gets a pass from me, although there are definitely other games from this developer that you should check out before this rather bland offering. My final rating is 3 out of 5 katanas. And if you're going to buy it, I would buy it only after you have already beaten Season 1, you've beaten Season 2, and you've probably beaten Season 1 again. I would still, though, buy it before you get the 400 Days DLC. Hope this helps. Thanks.